Uh, this is a wasp nest that someone gave me. Uh, it's an uh, aerial yellow jacket, Deluca vespula arenaria. They're the same genus as bold faced hornets, but they're yellow and black instead of black and white. Uh, so, what I did was I cut open a viewing area with a little pair of scissors so you could see the combs inside. These are the holes where the larvae grow. Um, uh, and then I took the fragments from cutting the hole and I patched some of, there were some cracks in the side and I just lined this up and used clear glue to sort of patch the cracks to make it intact. Then I used hairspray and just set it on a cardboard box and put, I don't know, seven or eight coats of hairspray on it to stabilize the paper because they're pretty fragile. Look at the layers. There's like eight layers of covering on this. The engineering in this is just amazing. And so anyway, I want to make a display out of this. And so I made a uh, cardboard template to hold it. So I have a top piece to hold the top of it and then to make it like a wall hanging. And so I took a piece of wood, quarter inch laminate, and I used the template to um, cut out the shape and I used a, a jigsaw to cut it out and here's the, the piece that I made actually it was like, like that yeah and then I made a um, uh, little stretch to help support the lid and fastened them in with um, flathead wood screws and a little glue to hold it all in place. And so this will hold the nest. I'm going to glue it to the top with silicone rubber and put a hanger on the back so uh, to make a display out of it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is stain this wood so that it looks nice and you know keeps it um, uh, from getting stained. I mean soiled. You know, preserve the wood. I'll stain it and then probably put some polyurethane on it uh, to make it a display. So I've got some stain here and a brush and I'm going to test it on the back first just to see how the wood takes the stain. Oh yeah, that works really well. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, so now I'll start on the front. Oh yeah, that looks much better than just raw wood. Okay, so I'll just finish staining this. Now it's been stained, uh, cherry, and uh, treated with uh, liquid gold as a finish after the stain dried. So it looks uh, pretty nice. It looks pretty good. Next we'll um, attach, the, uh, attach the nest. Now I attached a hanger on the back and I used little screws so I drilled holes in there and uh, used a little bit of glue uh, white glue in the holes to really hold the screws in so the hangers attached now we just need to attach the wasp nest with silicone now, to glue this in place, I'm going to use silicone rubber. 
and I'm going to put, uh, I've got it set sort of where I want it. I'm going to put a couple of pieces of tape here to mark it because once I set this silicone rubber, it's going to be hard to move it. This is still kind of fragile and I want to get it right in the right spot uh, the first attempt. So I marked it with tape here, here, and there. That should help me get it in the right position. Now I'm going to flip it over and put some silicone on it. I'm going to stay away from the edge too. I don't want any of this to show. Okay. And I've pushed it back as far as I can to to the back. All right. I don't see any silicone sticking out. I think I think we're good. Now I'll just let this dry. Now the last thing I want to do is I've got some specimens of the wasps that actually build these nests. Um, and these are old specimens I got from my own collection and from a friend's collection. And I've uh, some of them were pretty old and they were kind of discolored. So I'm soaking them in acetone to clean them up. They already look brighter. They're nice yellow and black striped. And so I'll pull these out of the acetone and put them in uh, uh, a water hydrator to soften up the specimen so I can position the uh, legs and antennas and make them look like they're alive and like they're crawling on the nest. Um, some of these are pretty old. Uh, the labels here are 82, 86, 89 and 95 and these are also older uh, 2001 2007 yeah so uh, this is a good use for them they'll look nice on there all right now I've attached the nest to the mount and it all looks really good The last thing I need to do is to mount the wasps. They've soaked in acetone and cleaned them up really nice. And now I need to hydrate them to relax the legs and, and get them set so they look like they're actually alive. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put them in water and let them sit for a few hours. And they should soak up and get soft very easily. So I can just take leave them on the pin and just drop them in the water. Now after soaking them in acetone it uh, often makes the leg muscles, the muscles, really stiff. But uh, they should still soften up here and I can uh, mount them. we just let them sit for a couple hours. Alright, now these have been soaking for a few hours. So they should be soft by now. So I'm going to pull these out and uh, 
get them ready to position on the nest. So now they're all pinned in a fairly natural position. And I'm going to let them dry just long enough to uh, get them to sort of stay this way, but not so dry that I can't still move the legs. So when I put them on the nest, I can position the legs to look like they're actually sitting on the nest. All right, so they're uh, pretty dry right now, and they look quite good, except they're a little bit darkened from soaking in the water to relax them. So I'm going to pop them back into the acetone uh, for a quick soak just to um, clean them up before I uh, use them to put on the nest. All right, now these have been acetone soaked and it cleaned them up quite a bit. And uh, what I did was I loosened them on the pin and moved the specimen down close to the bottom so I can stick this into the nest and glue it. Now what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of glue at the uh, base of this pin so that the bug is glued to the pin and then I'll put a little bit of glue on the pin and stick it in the nest so it stays there so it doesn't fall off. And then I'll use wire cutters and clip the top of the pin off so uh, so you won't see the pen. And I've just arranged them on here like a couple sort of at the entrance and a couple inside and uh, maybe a couple more up here. So I'll get these attached and we'll see how it looks. And here is the finished product. Alright, turned out pretty good.